Okay guys, today we're going to view some trigonometry, the fact that we did, what we did in geometry. Um, so this is specifically going to be for right triangles. And the first thing that you guys learned about whenever you did this was SOHCAHTOA. If you guys remember, SOHCAHTOA was an acronym that helped us remember what our trig ratios were. So our first one was sine, our second one was cosine, and our last one was tangent. And what those ratios were is it gave us a ratio of the sides of two certain sides of a right triangle. So, for example, so for my Sokotoa, it helped me figure out, remember, the sine ratio. And the sine ratio meant that the sine of an angle was equivalent to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So, for example, if I had a right triangle and I had an angle over here, if I was taking the sine of that angle, it would be my opposite side over my hypotenuse. And no matter what those numbers were, it would always be in that ratio. Then cosine was the ratio of my adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And remember, adjacent was the side next to that angle that wasn't the hypotenuse. So opposite was across, it didn't touch, adjacent was next to. And then tangent was the ratio of my opposite side over the adjacent side. Now, just like uh, sine, cosine, and tangent gave us ratios, there's actually three others that you might not have gone over in geometry. And these are my reciprocals. Okay, so they're reciprocals because they're flipped. Okay, so basically for each one of these, I'm going to take that original one and it's going to be the opposite. So sine's reciprocal is cosecant. So cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. So I flip them. Then cosine's reciprocal is secant, so that is hypotenuse over adjacent. And then tangent's reciprocal is cotangent, so that is my adjacent side over my opposite side. Now, sometimes it gets a little confusing remembering which reciprocal goes with which function, okay? Um, first, I'm going to write the abbreviations for you guys so you can see those. Um, so sine, we know, is abbreviated S-I-N. Cosine is abbreviated C-O-S. And tangent is abbreviated T-A-N. Cosecant is abbreviated C-S-C. -S Secant is S-E-C. And cotangent is C-O-T. So it's usually just the first couple letters except for cosecant. Now what gets a little confusing, a lot of people try to flip-flop uh, sine and cosecant. They try to say that sine goes with secant because of the two S's. The way I like to remember it is every pair has a co one time in one place. So between tangent and cotangent, co is there once. Cosine goes with regular secant because you already have co once. And sine goes with cosecant. Again, so you have that co one time for each pair. All right, so once we know these ratios, we can use them to find uh, some ratios in some of our triangles. So there's a couple different things that we can do with them. And we're going to start off uh, with this triangle right here. And I'm just going to find, oh, went too far. <laughs> Delayed response. So I'm just going to use this triangle to find a couple of the different ratios. Okay, so I'm going to start with the sine of angle D. So if I go back to Sokotoa, Okay, Sokotoa, sine is S-O-H. So the sine is my opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to look at angle D, and I'm going to take my opposite side, which is 6, over my hypotenuse. Now my hypotenuse isn't on there, but I know if I have two sides of a right triangle, it's easy to find the other side. I just need to do the Pythagorean theorem. So A squared plus B squared is equal to c squared. So 
that's going to be 9 plus 36. So that's 45. So C is going to be the square root of 45. Now I also can simplify the square root of 45. You guys remember how we simplified radicals. Um, so I know that 45 breaks down into 9 times 5, and 9 breaks down into 3 and 3. So I have those pair, that pair of 3's that can come on the outside, and I'm left with a square root of 5 on the inside. So the most simplified part for that hypotenuse is going to be 3 square root of 5. So now that I have my hypotenuse, I can use that to finish filling in my ratio. And again, we talked about this yesterday. If you want to leave the square root in the bottom, that is still a right answer, and that's okay. But I do want to simplify this how I can. And one thing I can simplify, that 6 and that 3 are both divisible by 3. So I can simplify that to just 3, whoops, divide by 3 to just 2 over the square root of 5. Okay, now, the thing about sine, remember, is that it's based on an angle. So just because I have sine for a triangle, I'm not going to get the same answer. That was the sine of angle D, so now I'm looking at the sine of angle E. So angle E is this one here. So my opposite is this side, and my hypotenuse is still here. So I still want to do opposite over hypotenuse, so I have 3 over my hypotenuse, which is 3 square root of 5. And I can simplify this again. Now be careful here. A lot of people like to say that the 3's cancel out and that their answer is the square root of 5. Okay, but we can't do that. Because even though those 3's are canceling out, they're actually just, you're dividing them. And you're really dividing them and ending up with a 1. So I really have 1 over 1 times the square root of 5. But I don't really need that 1 in the front, so I can just say it's 1 over the square root of 5. All right, uh, now let's see if I want to do the cosine of E. Okay, so the cosine of E, I'm going to find angle E, which is the angle I just did. But for cosine, I need the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So my adjacent is the side that's next to it, which is the 6. So I'm going to do adjacent over hypotenuse, and it's going to be 6 divided by the square root of 3. Or sorry, the square root of 5. And if you guys look, this is the same, actually, as one of the angles we just found. The cosine of E is the same as the sine of D. And there's a reason for that that we're actually going to talk about a little bit later uh, in this unit. All right, so next one we're going to look at is one of the new ratios, and we're going to find cotangent. Okay, so if you remember, we had Sokotoa, and then, I guess you could remember the other one is Cho Shikau. That's uh, the letters of the other. But cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So it's the same thing as 1 over tangent, which means that I can take my tangent ratio and flip it. So my tangent ratio was opposite over adjacent. That means that cotangent is adjacent over opposite. So I'm looking for the adjacent over the opposite for angle D. So my adjacent is the side next to it, which is 3. And then my opposite is the side across from it, which is 6. And I can simplify that to 1 half. And then the last one I want to look at is the cosecant of angle E. So remember, cosecant is the same thing as 1 over sine. So it's the reciprocal of sine. So sine's opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to flip that to hypotenuse over opposite. So I'm going to look at angle E. My hypotenuse is still uh, square root of th is 3 square root of 5. And then my opposite is across from angle E. So across from E is 3. And that can simplify to the square root of 5. Now you guys might be able to see there's actually a faster way to find that answer. So we said that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, which means it's the sine ratio flipped. Well, I already found the sine ratio of angle E. So if I wanted to, I could have made this a lot faster and just said my cosecant is this answer flipped. And that's exactly what I got. 
All right, so the last thing we're going to look at is some trig ratios if we're not necessarily given the triangle. Um, so if you look at this one, this tells me that the secant of theta is equal to 5 over 3, and I want to find the cotangent of theta. Now, if you guys think about this, it's not actually telling me at any point to find what theta itself actually is. Otherwise, I'd have to have a calculator in order to find theta. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to draw a triangle that fits this picture. So I'm going to draw a right triangle. I'm going to draw a theta. It doesn't matter where you draw your theta as long as it's not the right angle and you keep it consistent for the whole question. And then I'm going to fill in the parts of this triangle um, based on the information it gave me. So it told me that the secant of theta is 5 over 3. And if you remember secant, secant is 1 over cosine. So I take my cosine ratio, that's my cosine ratio, and I flip it. So my secant ratio is hypotenuse over adjacent. So that means that 5 is my hypotenuse, and then my adjacent to wherever I drew my theta is going to be 3. So I drew my theta right there, so that means that my 3 has to be here. So now I'm going to go ahead and find my missing side using the Pythagorean theorem, or some of you guys might realize this is one of those Pythagorean triples. So I know my missing side has to be 4. Now that my triangle's filled in, again, I don't actually need to figure out what theta is. All I need to do is find the cotangent of theta. And that cotangent ratio is the opposite of tangent. Tangent was uh, opposite over adjacent, adjacent over opposite. So I look at my picture and where I drew theta, my theta is here, so my adjacent is the 3 and my opposite is the 4. So I didn't actually need to find theta, I just needed to draw a picture and use that picture to answer both parts of the question. And that's all we're going to review for now about trig. Okay, we just learned a couple new ratios and just kind of reviewed some things that we did back in geometry. Um, we're going to continue to use a lot of this trig stuff this year, so hopefully you guys can get more and more comfortable with it.